Hi, Jeff Higley from Hotel News Now, and I'm sitting here at the Lodging Conference with Tom Story, the president of Fairmont Hotels and Resorts. Tom, welcome uh, to Hotel News Now. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, what we are seeing now is with the credit crunch and the lack of liquidity in the market, we're seeing that North American projects are having a very difficult time getting financed. Uh, lucky for us, uh, our pipeline is about 85 percent outside of North America, so we have a lot of projects in emerging markets uh, in the Middle East, in India, and in Asia. And so uh, we're staying busy with those, recognizing that the North American market is probably going to come back within the next year or two. What we try to do is <clears throat> take our model, which has largely been a North American model, but make sure that we're flexible in the way that we implement it, and that we typically will work with a partner who is in the market, understands the regulatory environment, understands the cultural issues, uh, has access to some of the knowledge that we would ultimately need to be successful in that destination. We were acquired by uh, a joint venture between Kingdom Ho Hotels and Colony Capital. And those two companies came together. Colony Capital also brought with it the Raffles and Swiss Hotel brands. So we merged those three, three brands together. We took the company private. And now we're operating as a shared platform across those three brands. Uh, with about 90 hotels in about 25 or 26 different countries. What it means is that we take what we would describe as all the back of the house functions, things like accounting, uh, technology, finance, purchasing, um, all the things that uh, you can gain efficiency on through scale, and we put those together into one group, and then we have individual brands where you would keep the sales and marketing, the positioning, the product design, the human resources in the individual brands. And then those brands buy services from that shared services group. Growth in the hotel industry, particularly at the high end, is somewhat opportunistic. It's a, a combination of finding the, the right product with the right partner uh, and the right deal, business deal financially. And so we, we have multiple ways that we would participate in a potential new Fairmont. One way is as a joint venture partner uh, with, with another uh, capital source. In some cases, we provide uh, pure management uh, where we would um, in, in offer possibly a, uh, a key money investment so that uh, we can help the financial structure of that deal. Uh, and in, in some cases, we don't have any financial participation whatsoever. We're operating as a pure third-party manager. Uh, and different uh, situations require a different, a different approach. But the good thing is, is we have access to enough capital that we can uh, work with the owners to make the deal work. Uh, <clears throat> we like working with partners who have prior experience in the luxury hotel market. Uh, designing and operating a luxury hotel is somewhat different than a limited service hotel in that typically uh, they're more expensive to build, obviously, um, and they're more challenging to run because you're dealing with much more complex projects. Typically they have a lot of food and beverage, they may have spas or golf or retail, and the complexity of that uh, asset means you, ha you, to be successful, you have to appeal to a lot of different types of customers. And <clears throat> investors in those types of hotels typically need a longer time frame in order to get maximum value out of those projects. We have 56 uh, properties today that are open, open and operating in 19 countries. Uh, we have, uh, in fact, we'll be opening 10 hotels in 2009, representing about 3,000 rooms. And we have another 14 uh, hotels that are actually signed and announced projects in other parts of the world. 